And again, that gets built on the ship, so even if I were to move back to Kur... Kuraha, we still have that, the uh, capital building available, and that is where we're sending the leecher. That'll be there in a few turns, it has to be built still. You're still exploring. I could split you up, but I'm a little nervous about pirates. Pirates sometimes travel in groups of two, and two ships versus one obviously isn't very good. A lot of stuff happening now. What do we got? Construction's complete of the leecher. We are now working on study geology. Research is done on the plasma metallurgy, so we can capture Hyperium. We're working on titanium, we're finding now. New luxury resource was discovered, it is Transvine. And Jadenix. So head to the economy screen. What do I know? What do these do? More production. Or more approval. Ooh. Combair 2 will be getting involved with that, but basically you use one of these luxury resources, then you put in like 30 of it into a building, and then you build the building using the 30 of that resource. So you build the building where you want it. But again, since we're the Ark people, we'd be building it like on the Ark. So I don't know precisely how it would work with them. Discovered MRK 180, which is an asteroid field, I believe. Don't know what these do. We'll find out next turn, maybe. Ooh. Ah, extend the influence over it to receive its bonus. Ah, okay. Which is this. So it's a... That'll be a bit of 50 production, though. Hot damn. That'll be good. <sighs> oh, leecher. Shit. Oh, I forgot. Okay, we can finally do our first law. Head down to Elma, Mr. Leecher guy. New fleet, right. Then head down. It'll be a bit, because they're slow. Because I didn't give them a lot of engines. Or any. But whatever. So diplomacy, or, um, well, diplomacy too, but the whole law system and government system is a thing in this game. I don't remember if it wasn't in the Space 1. Again, I only played on the Space 1 for a tiny, teeny, tiny bit a very long time ago, and that was before I really played many 4X games at all. But uh, we use, for this, we use a mix of what our people believe in. Right now, we're all religion, because that's all we know is religion. So that doesn't really matter. But we also use influence then to pass laws. We can have two available laws. We can increase this over time. With, I believe, certain researches, we can do that. But we have only a few laws available. We get more laws as the arrows go on. Only the starting population can increase. I think that happens regardless. Larger hosts, more manpower, more food. Oh, more, more food to manpower on systems. So that's really good for like defense, which isn't really much of an issue. Or plus 25% dust on systems. Fuck yeah, we'll put that in. So now we're getting 97 dust per turn. Huh. Which... What was it to retrofit this guy? Oh, only 201. So bang. We'll do that. And next turn that will apply, but we are getting less dust per turn, but we're getting a lot more production, a lot more research. So that I think that's probably the better way to do it there. Nice. Expedition successful. All right, we researched it. It is more Jadenix. Damn, I was hoping it'd be a strategic, but that's fine. Continue eastward, sir. Really should just split off the leecher and have him go elsewhere. The hero leveled up. He is currently commanding a fleet, so I think I will keep specking him as such. Nice thing about him is he automatically just gets experience over time. So let's get him even more experience over time. Plus two on fleet and increased vision range as well. And then next up, it'll be even, even more experience and even more vision range. Ugh. Good stuff. And then just certain government things, fleet health, more production, more food and production, more food, or shield capacity on ship and all that. And this obviously leads to different tiers as you do 
uh, five skill points on the first tier, you get to the second tier, and then um, ten skill points, you get to the third tier, and I imagine fifteen skill points, you get to the final tier, which may or may not work. Times zero. Times zero buyout on hero. Heroes don't come cheap. Huge retinues, multiple homes, and exacting riders make up make their upkeep high. Oh, it's upkeep. Ah, it's upkeep. Okay. Might be okay. Plus 30% damage on ships, plus 40% shield capacity on fleet. Holy shit. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, did I apply? There. Yay. I'm always a fan of things just leveling by doing nothing. It's fantastic. Construction complete. We studied geology. Right, that, yep, that was a resource, yep. And then we're working in the university, which will only be three turns. It was going to be like seven or eight, but we kick ass with production now because the arc's there. Hyperpax is done, so we can do the Academy Embassy to enable unlock of new heroes. And the National Museum to make people happier. You can see their political impact, religious, the things that you build, the things that you do, the way you respond to certain random events and all that influences people and inspires them in certain ways and impacts politics, uh, politics as a result. So if we were to be doing a lot of war type, war type things, we would become a little more militaristic and all that. It's quite a nice thing. You sometimes have to bend over backwards and really bust ass trying to keep in a certain uh, following in a specific area. Like if I really like the laws that we're doing is religion and we need a lot of religious like prowess to keep laws going. Like let's say I really wanted racial purity act. I, I need broad support. So as like militarism and economists come in or eco uh, ecologists and like researchers come in, the current support may be dropping over time. So I have to like really influence people and really, really try to keep them religious the best I can. But that really only becomes a problem if you start, if you either get really unlucky with random events, which I might because I have them on pretty frequent, or if you play differently to how you're supposed to be with your people. Like we're religious, so obviously doing military things like Taking land and shooting asteroids and shit like that um, obviously gets people more militaristic. So if I just avoid doing that too much, we'll be we'll be fun. We got reavers coming in here. The reavers being the pirates. I can't really do too much about that right now. They might though come over to my leecher and fuck me up in a couple turns. They have to come to Kurha and then turn around. So. Will I be able to catch up with them? Probably not. Mm. Might be in a bit of trouble. So we can do this. We can sell strategic or er, buy strategics and luxuries. Now we cannot sell. As far as I know, selling is just like not a thing at all. Hmm. And luxuries. I need like 30 luxuries to really do anything with it, so we'll hold off on that. But later on, we can do buying ships and heroes. Yay. We will be building the academy. That'll probably come next. Yee. Yeah. And people happy. Are people happy? Yeah, they're ecstatic. They fucking love me. They're like, oh my god. So we get more influence per person. Not too bothered about that right now. I think we... Whoops. We don't need bunkers yet. I think we'll be going for those and then the academy. Get our production high first and then hit the academy. Right. So that's that. I might lose this leecher to, uh, to that one single annoying pirate who whizzed by. It's annoying. Political survey comes in a bit before the election. Elections happen every 20 turns on normal, every 10 turns for me though, because I'm on quick play. And obviously we are all religious all the time. 
there's no reason for us to not be yet. So, I can look forward to doing that. Catch up to them! Oh. Let's actually hit up Elma, but then swing back. So we stay in transit, because I'm afraid of the pirates. They're actually heading over to the Ark. So we're, we're actually okay. Oops. <laughs> Turn back around. God, it might almost be faster to just sack you and build another one and send them down shit. Ah, well. I didn't see him there, so now he'll probably attack the Ark. Which should be really foolish because we're really powerful. In comparison. Probes? Should we send out more probes? We'll send out some more probes. Send one that way. That way. That way. And down that way. Head down to Elma. Actually. New fleet from that leecher. There we go. You head down to Elma. You hang tight. Guard, enemy ships will be stopped for one turn when entering orbit. Blockade at opponents' systems, lowering their influence, dust, and science production. We will guard Kiraha, so if this guy swings back for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure he'll be attacking our arc. Pretty sure. He's not actually orbiting us yet. He's like right there, so I can't unhook, fight, and then rehook. So we'll see what he does next turn. He might just be passing through. I highly doubt it. Construction complete. That was the university. Very nice. We're working on the uh, production up now. So you gave me plus two everything per person on planets. More approval and influence. Very nice. Making 52 dust per turn. Very happy with that. <laughs> there he goes turning around. Oh, shit. Okay, and we are on the 10th turn. So now this is when I... Ordinarily, I would vote for a different party or something because religious is okay, but not exactly perfect. But religion is all we know. This is all we've got. We have no influence in any other area, so there are no other candidates at all whatsoever. So we'll just go for a basic official support of religion. And that will, I believe, apply when it hit next step. But I could finance a campaign, spend 250 dust to finance them and say, yes, major boost or average boost, or intimidate the candidates to reduce the other parties. But I don't have the influence for that. But again, it doesn't really matter. We'll just give them official support. It doesn't matter at all in the slightest. The one system we got, the all seven representatives are all religious, so it, 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 that's done. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> so no, no new unlocked laws or anything like that. Literally no change. That'll become important later on. We... Oh! Wow, that was quick as hell. Jesus Christ. We've got first contact because we hit era two and... And the nice thing about that is ships have more splitting experience. They cost a bit more though. Well, a good lot more. And plus one on Empire. Not sure what that's referring to. Luxury resources can actually be spent now. And this is the... <laughs> They are attacking the Ark. That's funny. Minimize you for now. We can actually use our... Whoops. Uh, we have new laws, actually, because we're in a new... era as well. All sorts of stuff when you hit new eras. Approval rating is forced to content. Ooh. That's interesting. Right now, we're ecstatic, but we could reduce it to content, or if people are, like, really pissy for whatever reason. Like, maybe because I'm a dictatorship and people strongly disagree with my decisions, I can force it to this. Interesting. Racial Purity Act, only my starting population can increase. I think that happens regardless. Improve food on systems, which is nice. I am pretty happy with the dust. Pretty happy. I wish I... Can I abolish that? I can't abolish that. Uh, okay, we need a third law slot, which I think I can actually get in era two. 
with that is new government types and gives me more law slots on Republican, Federation, and Democracy. So yes, that. This gives me more uh, influence, like a lot more. And allows actions to influence election results, you know, that might be good one day, but not good for me yet. And unlocks diplomacy with empires. Ugh. Colonial rights plus five approval per racial types on systems. So if we're very widespread, so not us at all <laughs> whatsoever. The really cool things that we can do, though, is I didn't show those. The top bar here has a couple things hidden. This is relating to ship things. So we've got efficient shielding here that unlocks a couple new holes. This is a small attacker, and this is a small protector. Era 2, though, we've got a medium coordinator, or an enhanced version of Toy Sim class, which is this guy. So it just gives them more utility slots, basically, which is really actually very nice. We also could unlock a medium hunter, or enhance, oh, the enhanced Sluayum which is this guy. So we can enhance these and all that, which is quite nice. I would quite like to get portable fusion systems so we can do Arctic and Ocean. No. We need Xenobotany for that, which... Which is not at all in our era, I don't think. Good God, where is that? God, what was it called? <laughs> Xenobotany. Oh, right there. Air 2. Ha! <clears throat> I, I knew that. So we'll do that. Why is it 3? What did I... What else am I researching? One. Oh. Earth foams. Which actually, yeah, yeah, at some point I will need that. Warp drive is quite nice because warp drive, I think, allows you to go off the lanes and allows you to quickly get to other places. Uh, sometimes there are Sometimes you'll have systems, but there won't be like a lane to them. Typically rewarded through quests. The uh, they'll have like a system just over here, and to get to that, I believe that's what warp drive is for. I think. So yes, at some point, but not yet. We'll do those two, and then we'll head down to one of these. Improved fleet management would be really good, so we get more command points, so we can have a larger fleet. There's autonomous construction, which I needed for something. Initial experience. I needed this for something. Why does, why does this seem familiar to me? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go with this, though. Probably get um, mediums, too. I didn't mean to actually apply that. I wanted to... Uh, there. So, the battle, right. So, battles are interesting. We'll go advanced. It is a rock, paper, scissors type thing. There is long range, medium range, short range. I know, I'm explaining it. Fuck off. Are you going to do something for this too? No? Okay. There is long range, short range, or long range, medium range, short range. And the enemy also has these. But the enemy gets different bonuses depending on which they choose than we do. But the more important thing is what the compatibility is. So they're really bad at short range. Their weapons are just not that effective at short range. They're more for medium range and long range. So if they were to go medium range, they're most compatible with that. I would want to be going uh, short range. Short range beats medium range. Medium range, however, beats long range. So if I go short range against our medium range, we have the advantage, but we're not very good at short range either. So what I'll probably do is go medium range. And if I go medium range to match their medium range, if they go short range, they'll have the upper hand, though they're not very compatible. To beat their short range, I'd be going long range, which we're sort of okay with a little bit. Kind of. But if they go medium range, they get the advantage against our long range. So it's very 
It's very rock, paper, scissors, but mixed in with a compatibility aspect depending on what your weapons are. So we're not very good at really anything at all, so I'll probably... They could go long range. They're, they're quite good at long range. Medium and long. I reckon I'll go medium, because then if they go medium, it's it's a tie, they're more compatible, but we're so much fucking bigger, like we're giant compared to them. And if they go long range, then we win, because we're medium range and we excel at medium range and we get the advantage of being medium to their long. But again, it doesn't really matter, we're a fucking arc. Like, they've... they lost so hard already. It's not even a contest, really. It's all very cinematic. <laughs> it's quite nice, actually. It needs a bit of work as it stutters and sputters every once in a while. The frame it's kind of poo. But it will automatically switch camera. I can hit scan to show health bars. If I go free camera up, I control using the arrow keys and brain mouse button to look around. You can see here I have almost 8,000 health. They don't at all. I can slow down time to um, like war game, red dragon, bullet time speeds. I think this is actually paused. We paused? Nope, just really. Now we're paused. Now we're going really slowly. Let's speed this up a bit so these projectiles do indeed go. Mm, what the hell? <laughs> it's gonna get us. Maybe it'll mess, I don't know. Nope. Look out! Oh, what? <clears throat> oh, it's a laser, so it's not quite as fancy, I, I think. Meanwhile, they... Ugh. Yeah, it locks up every now and again. It looks nice, though. Oh, that's some firing. How much health do you got? 395 still. Go back to normal speed. Nobody's shooting missiles or anything, so it's not really that fun to look at. Oop, oh, there's one. Missile incoming! I was a bit slow. Ugh. The hell? There we go. But he is so dead. That was a very, 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 very reckless and very silly thing for him to have tried to do there. I don't know why they would send one ship against the Ark, but hey, that's fine. I get experience for it. So, in a very slow nutshell, <laughs> that's... That's combat. So, you guys are heading... Yes, you're heading down here to absorb all their people. I don't know if you could both do it or not. We'll find out. I'll try merging them and seeing how that works. Research is done on Astro Finance, which unlocked the dust growing loss lots and all that'll be really nice to get. Construction's complete. On the production, we're working on a little more production. It'll only be one turn because we're really good at production here. It's already done. Now we're working on the Hero Academy. Ooh. Okay, so something leveled up. However, new event, Down to Earth. This is one of the random events that can occur. And our decision here will impact our religious, er, well, kind of. It'll, it'll impact the politics, though. So if I choose this guy, we stay religious. If I choose this guy, some people will consider maybe thinking about doing scientist. Which would be the sort of researchy law. I don't know what it's actually called. 
Appointing a religious senator on Kais without popular support has proven to be a troublesome decision. The latest developments involve the controversial choice to ban Moxadol, an aquiferous plant harvested in Kais and often added to drinks for its temporary gravity-altering properties. Ooh. Trouble is, Moxadol isn't just recreational, it's also used in an industry... in industry medis medical treatments. Ugh. Banning it for religious reasons, lobbyists say, is nothing more than a fight of fancy. What do you say? I can't either uphold it and stay religious and gain a lot of food for 10 turns, or remove it to make law cost more expensive for 10 turns. Hmm, we get a lot of that per turn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. That's a lot of food, though. I mean, I'm quite happy with religious, I suppose, for now. We'll just go for that. There's no reason for me to switch over to scientist. Not that this would actually switch me over entirely, but it would make them, you know, consider something other than religious for once. Fuck that, though. So yeah, we'll just do that. So a lot more food on systems. Like, so much more food on systems. 172 food. Jesus. So they're growing pretty damn fast, and I think what this is is we're... We don't actually use food, but I think the food is going toward, like, things that do use food, and we just harvest them straight away for, um, for essence automatically, and that's how we get that. I think that's, the, like, the lore behind it, maybe, possibly. But, uh, but yeah. We'll be harvesting essence soon, so we can grow really quickly through Holy Proliferation. Soon. One day. I had a bit of a pirate scare, but it's better now. So this is the good leecher. This guy, I definitely want harvesting essence. And can you also harvest essence then, I wonder? Yes, you both can. Excellent. So we're getting 63 per turn. And because you're orbiting, I don't think... All ships up to date. All ships up to date. If I were to go into here, because I think you have to be in friendly territory for me to do it, but let's just see. We'll just go into minor leecher, edit. I make you a actual leecher. Hmm, I can do it any time. Just as long as you're orbiting a system, even though it's not friendly. It's actually kind of hostile. They're really not happy with me. Probably because I'm eating their people. Minus six per turn. Yeah, they're not too happy with me because I'm, you know, consuming them. I thought I had to be orbiting a friendly system, though, to be able to upgrade. <laughs> well then. Population gained. Yay. And construction complete. Yay. Okay, we're done. You can probably go back to exploring. Actually, I don't really need you anymore. Well, not there. System defenders, I know. We'll go... Head down here. I'm a little afraid of these guys, like, attacking us or something. I don't know what happens when they go, like, super hostile, if they actually spawn a ship and fuck you up or what. Don't know, but there's the pirates we still have to handle down there. Ugh. Should probably work toward... We'll go ahead and queue those up. Well, hmm. Go for that, I think. Because I need... I need strategic resources, which we've got here, actually. On Ibella. However, they... just aren't as grand as we are. Like, we're fucking fantastic here. What are you blowing up about? Oh, manpower, I know. Fuck off. I right, got it. Uh, we could unhook from Kais and head over to Ibella and start stockpiling some of that stuff. Or I could stay where I am. Oh my god, shut up. Or I could stay where I am and buy these strategic resources just from the marketplace because they're not that expensive. But, hmm. Mm, I'd like to get a second arc. I don't know how to do that, though. It might be from just a questline thing. Really don't know. It didn't tell me. I can only have one, though. This is this is what that tells me. 